Okay, so my name is Doug Blake and today I'm going to be showing you how um, to navigate through the Slice application. So right now I'm on the web version of the Slice app, however it will be the same exact thing on the iPad. So as you see here, there's a couple of different little buttons that you can click, application, pending, under construction, notification and documents, field presentation, and a link directly to your agent portal. For the sake of this meeting and this webinar, we're gonna go ahead and click on the application tab. Okay, so we click here. So we're sitting down with Mr. and Mrs. Jones, real simple. We just start inputting their information. Okay, date of birth, mail, what is the relationship to the insured, self, what city they currently in, Cooper City, and Florida. Next. And all you gotta do from here on is just answer the questions. And as you, you'll notice, as you answer questions, it may or may not trigger different questions that it will continue to ask to try to qualify the customer. So all we do is read the questions directly to the customer right in front of you and keep on going. If they take medications, you're gonna put them in here. Go ahead and click add medication. It'll automatically list in alphabetical order, okay? Or you can start typing in and they will start popping up arthritis say for any of the drugs and you just click keep clicking add and add and add if the drug is not listed what you want to do is click not listed and then you're going to search for the for the usage so say they take a drug that you can't find for acid reflux we're going to look here for acid reflux this is now all the medications that we know of that could be taken for acid reflux so you can either click one of those drugs or if it's not on there click request exception type in the drug and that will go ahead and flag the policy and an underwriter will have to manually look at that. So for now, we're gonna go ahead and continue to move forward. Gives you all the plans that that particular person qualifies for. Go ahead and click whichever one. Typically the top one is gonna be the best one for the customer, okay? So now it's going to give you a little tutorial uh, about the plan, about why they need coverage, some features, some benefits, as well as the information on legacy assurance. Next would be the legacy assurance videos that are both available in English and Spanish. You just simply have to uh, go ahead and uh, play those. And you got the rates. Good, better, best or you can customize it for whatever plan that you feel is fit or they want. Child rider. You can add as many child riders as you like. Accidental death benefit and legacy assurance. You can also navigate back and forth very easily to the product details or legacy assurance details. Click next. We're gonna now fill out the application primary beneficiary the spouse 100% make a state secondary you could say yes or you could say no and actually add a person okay would you like to include a child charitable benefit rider if you click yes you just put the organization It'll then donate up to, from 200 up to $1,000, however much you want, to a church, to a, again, any type of charitable organization. Next, face amount. Say we'll go with this particular one. Amount of referrals that you're getting is extremely important. You wanna put those, those numbers in. Okay, the $25 store credit. Also, the language that the welcome packet is going to be mailed in. And if you're gonna be adding additional household members, this is where you would do it. Because remember that legacy assurance allows you to have four other household members in addition to the policyholder. So now what we wanna do is get all green or yellow checks all throughout. So we go by here, 
I'm just typing in random numbers. Type in address, phone number, email address. mother's maiden name and you see as I'm going through all this I'm getting little by little I'm getting more and more green checks do you want automatic premium loan permission yes you have existing life insurance we're gonna say no for this one but yes and you just select the name of the company policy number and is this gonna be replacing or changing it next health information these are all the health questions that you would have to ask the customer next doctor all you need is a name dr. Smith Miami Florida if you have all the information that's fine if they don't just put in whatever you have um, if they do not have a primary care physician then what you're gonna want to do is just list the closest hospital or urgent care facility just basically ask them if you were to get sick where would you go is the payer and the proposed insured the same person? Yes. We're going to go ahead and do the bank service plan. It's going to pop up the banking information, bank name, Navy Federal. Routing number is 256074974. Account number, I'm just putting in bogus information for now. Checking monthly, initial withdrawal date is the fourth. We're going to do day of the month. Do the first of every month. Next, do a recording. If you're in the field, it would say signature. Next, click yes. They're verifying the accounts. It's not going to get verified only because I put in bogus information. So we're going to go ahead and continue anyways. And now we just simply start the recording. All we're going to do is click start recording here. And as you can see, the microphone is moving. You just keep, keep reading this. Next, next, next and read that, click next, read that, click next, and you keep going all the way throughout. When you get to the end, it'll pull up an application, submit it to underwriting, um, it'll run the, the prescription drug check, um, which we can't really do on this type of a call just for privacy reasons and pulling up, say, a random prescription drug check. But if there is any discrepancies in the application, what it'll do is <clears throat> list any medications that were not um, listed on the application you'll have to d distinguish and let, let this, the home office know what they take each one for um, just be as honest as possible because you know the script checks do not lie so just keep running through that submit the deal to underwriting and if you do it before 3 p.m. you get paid that very same day so pretty easy stuff pretty basic walkthrough um, the only difference between doing it over the telephone and doing it in the field is rather than doing this recording here you're simply going to be signing with your finger Okay, so I hope you guys got a lot out of this. Very simple, very basic. Don't make it more than it is. Thank you for your time.